The nation's trade ministry is responding to the letter from Washington as well. Though it formed a task force dedicated to the subject, it might take longer than 30 days to a meeting for a meeting rather to take place. Kim Jian explains further. In response to a letter sent by a U.S. trade representative to Seoul to convene a joint committee of the Korea-U.S. Free Trade Agreement, the Ministry of Trade, Industry and Energy said it will send a senior official to the United States to discuss detailed schedules and agenda items with respective trade counterparts. The Trade Ministry's Director General of Trade Policy, Yon Gu, reiterated Chongade's statement, saying a task force team working on amendments to the Free Trade Pact does not mean Seoul and Washington have started a renegotiation process, which will happen only when the two countries agree to do so. He said through the joint task force team, the two sides will discuss ways to reduce the U.S. trade deficit with Korea, adding that it may take more than 30 days to hold the proposed special joint committee. He says the option of the joint task force meeting for discussions is open, but the reaching of any decision regarding the bilateral FTA deal will only take place following a consensus by the two sides. He also said the possibility that Washington could repeal the trade pact due to strong backlash from U.S. businesses is low since they benefited from expanded trade between the two economies and will not stand by if the U.S. government repeals what they consider an important deal. He said the ministry has been projecting Washington's requests and that it's been preparing various response measures to address possible scenarios. Kim Jian, Arirang News.